Now, 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 before you start anything, what is a food disorder? How do you get one and how can you recover from one? This is all we're going to cover in this video. It's going to be quite a long video. Sometimes I'm going to go off the topic, but just it's just the way I want to make this video. Not off the topic, but a bit more conversational. I'm going to share my real thoughts, how I went through it, what you should be aware of, what you should not be scared of, and actually try it yourself. Do not be afraid of somebody saying anything towards you. And now, let's get on with this video. Now, you have to understand that when you have an eating disorder, it's not just about one thing. It's not about one sentence that you will hear that will like, help you to resolve all of your problems. It's not a one uh, like exercise or habit. There are a lot of things that could help you, and that's what I'm going to talk about. First of all, things that helped me is the gym, building a proper routine, um, having some time off, you know, just thinking sometimes about what is actually going on, you know, to reconsider some things that could actually help and uh, start to notice some specific patterns in your environment because usually... What used to happen with me is that when I come back home after school, which was time when I was in school was the biggest time and I had like the problem of uh, eating disorder and that I would eat uh, massive amounts of food. What the problem would be, would be that when I would come back home, my parents would tell me always to eat. You know, you, you have to eat to be stronger. You have to eat to exist. You have to eat to be healthy. And... Uh, they were crossing the line. I was eating too much. And as a kid, you do not understand that it's not your problem. It's something about how your parents raise you. And you know, you can notice that there's something about your parents, what your parents do, when I have personally a brother that has anorexia, right? When people are being too skinny. And he was born before me, right? He was... Uh, when I was born, he was at the age of five. So, obviously, my parents thought that, you know, well, he was quite skinny. And, uh, you know, even though we gave him food, he would not turn into a big guy as I, as the way I did. So, they decided to feed me more. And that's the result of it. In the um, age of 11 years old, that's how I looked like. Just look at it. And look at this photo when I sit next to my classmate. I was fucking massive. I used to weigh 70 kilograms and my height was 165 centimeters. At the age of 11. And, um, you know, at the age of 11, I was probably in 3rd or 4th grade, right? You cannot quite comprehend why people are pointing fingers towards you, why people are bullying you, your peers are laughing at you, because you look a certain way, and uh, it creates certain uh, trauma, you know, obviously it does. So... I started spending more time alone. I was becoming like so closed within myself because there were so much problems that I could not understand. I could not comprehend it as a kid. You know, even though I was spending most of my time, you know, like after when I was like. 13 to 16, I was spending most of my time in my house, like, not living it that much. I was still trying, I would truly try to lose some weight. And that's how I developed bulimia. I would, you know, I would stay up consistently on, like, some sort of strict diet. It's like just fucking water and some bullshit. And, like... 
I was spent so much time and effort into like, oh well, you know, I've been on a diet for a week, yet they still, and you know, and throughout this time you still go to school, still people, people there are still people that bully you, you know, and like, it was so hard, and with time, in a week, like, you know, when I was just couldn't take it anymore, I would go out and eat, like, everything I wanted to. Then I would feel guilt. I would start. I would start to blame myself that I failed on myself. And like then I would go to the toilet just to put two fingers in my throat to throw up. That's how it was, and it was fucking awful. I didn't know the reasons, and I didn't know the way out. You know, in high school. It fell off a little bit because I became very much taller. <coughs> I was weighing around the same. Probably, I mean, I was just a bit bigger. Around like 75 probably kilograms or something like that. And um, it became kind of laid off. But yet I was still trying a lot of fucking unhealthy things. Like, let me just tell you. <coughs> I used to take ice baths, you know, because when basically when our bodies are put into the cold, they burn more fat. Second thing, I would, <clears throat> instead of when I recognize that I have bulimia, instead of like after I ate a lot, instead of going to throw up, I was going for a, a jog, you know, I was jogging. It was fucking terrible. Can you imagine jogging outside with your stomach full? It felt outrageously bad. And I remember all this hate, all this blame, all these suicidal thoughts that I had. Now, I needed a break. I needed something to break out of this system. And in Russia, in a country that you currently live in, as when you reach 18 years old, when I graduated from high school, but it was, <clears throat> you will be sent into army if you did not do not apply into college or university. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't. I I failed because of my a lot of my you know inner depression and uh, inner problems. I failed exams. I mean, I, not failed that, but I. Mm hmm. So, because of my inner problems, I failed on exams, and I was, uh, and I just basically didn't have time to actually think of what I wanted to do, because I was so always so scared and uh, felt just so depressed inside. So I went to the army, and that helped a lot. Not just because in the army you eat in a certain period of uh, day, but it didn't help me as much with losing weight, you know, as much as understanding what is actually going on. Is that the environment of yours makes a lot of sense, right? If you ha come to the house when, where parents like make you eat certain things, certain food, and uh, they feel bad themselves if you don't eat as much as they want you to, then that's their problem. You have to understand that some people there are actually parents that feel guilt if they do not feed their kids as much as they want to they think that they failed as a parent but it's not true you have to understand there are a lot of parents like that and if, if you are a parent you have to keep a thing that if the child doesn't want to don't make him that's as simple as that when I came back from army, I was still back in my parents' house, the place where it all had started, all my problems uh, with eating the soda. And uh, after I recognized that it's a lot about really environment and not me, I've started reconsidering bullying, I've started reconsidering a lot of different things and it became easier for me to understand that it's not really that much of my fault.
as much as it, the environment that I was put in. So, <clears throat> it's very much easier for me now. I go to the gym, I don't feel any shame or guilt. Because I understand that if that's the way I am, then I'm going to work on it. I don't blame anyone, not my parents, not myself, for the body that I had. But there are certain things that made me the one I was. Now, I really want to touch one sensitive topic, which is bullying, which you may come across of. Right? When I went to the gym, I have a really great story. Listen, when I went to the gym, right, uh, when my parents used to force me to go to the gym, in the summer or something like that, in August probably, I, um, you know, become friends with one guy. He, he, he had just started to go to the gym. He was just a normal white dude in his 20s, right? Uh, not that much muscles, not like that. So, at that time, I've stopped going to the gym for certain reasons. But uh, I came back to the gym back in January of the year. So, it's been like six months since I was in the gym. I came back in January. This dude did not recognize me when I was in the gym. And when I saw him, I was just shocked. You know, I was still a teenager and I was just, I couldn't comprehend this. Right? His hands... They're so fucking massive. His hand, like, doubled in size in just a half of a year, right? And I was like, how the fuck did he do that? And at the time, I didn't know much about steroids. Yet, with all of that, this man had the audacity, even though he used steroids to become something bigger, to grow muscles bigger, and way much unhealthier than without them, he had the audacity to start becoming toxic, to start bullying people in the gym. So, the fun part is, when I went to the gym, this guy did not realize, he did not realize it was me, the person that he used to talk when he just started. And I was on a treadmill, right? I was just, like, starting my cardio and shit. And he said some, like, shit about, like... It was January, right? Like, in the first half of January, when there are a lot of people in the gym trying to change themselves, which is good. Which is truly good. He, like, was uh, going by, you know? He looked at me and said, said something about me being, being like, uh, fat or some shit. I was in the headphones. He probably thought I was listening to the music and I would not hear him. But I heard it. I did not, you know said anything to him because at the time I was just 16 and you know I still had a lot of problems in my head I was thinking like this good this dude is probably right and you know I shouldn't go to the gym like all this half year half of a year that I was depressed and didn't go to the gym he built the body of a dream and shit which is not true he used steroids people do not build what he built he has built in two years, people cannot even reach that, what he had built in just half of the year. And that's the thing. Even, even guys, even if someone is natural and he's still bullying you, does it fucking matter? Does it actually matter? This person is fucking mental. That's the thing you should understand. Because you can call them toxic, mental, whatever you fucking want. Because they truly are. It's like, like, I told you, bro. Like, these people, bro, you know. I really want to apologize if I went off a topic from time to time. It's right, okay? I'm just trying. And I'm trying to get my view on this whole thing out. So... If you have any sort of questions that you would like to ask, leave them in the comments. I'm gonna answer to them in some time and make another video about it. That's all I wanted to say for now. Just remember the main thing. Always appreciate your body, no matter what. You have to develop it. Even if you're not going to the gym. 
even if you don't feel like you should be feeling that all right that's the important thing however i'm not afraid to take off my shirt now if i need to in the gym even though i don't know bro i don't look best i don't have abs and all of that but i'm not afraid and you know it's not in I could do it not in a way to like, you know, just, oh, look at me. I'm so proud of myself because I can take it off, yet not feel guilt or problem. No, I can take it off just to, you know, see my muscles when I work out. You know, it helps. That's kind of the thing. Do it just for one reason. To appreciate yourself. Appreciate your time, your health your mental stability and your body that's the main thing of it right 